my name is Ivana. If you watch my travel vlogs, you know we just recently visited the Auvergne region in France. And of course you can't go to France and not buy any candy and sweets and stuff like that. So without further ado, we're going to try a lot of the French candy and snacks. I'm going to start off with these cookies. They were recommended to me by Martina. She has a French husband and they go to France a lot. Oh, wait, <laughs> like this. So Martina told me if you are going to try French snacks and candy and stuff like that, you need to buy these cookies because they are so freaking good and they are typically French. What? Okay, apparently they are individually wrapped. Ooh, these are totally different than I thought they would be. They are quite a wafer structure. Oh my God, they're falling apart. Why? Why you do this to me? They are raspberry flavor, which is one of my favorites. I actually prefer raspberry over strawberry. Come on, cookies, come on, seriously. This is so hard to get them. Uh, oh, may wait, maybe I, I'm supposed to break it? Break it? Okay, I just broke it. I have never tasted a wafer as thin, as light, and as light as this one. And the raspberry flavor is just magnificent. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. French people know their food. I would give this cookie, I'm not a massive fan of wafers and I'm not a massive fan of cookies, so I would definitely give it a 7. Still gonna eat the rest of the cookie because it is really good. The next sweets I'm going to try are these Luti Bubbles Original. They look like kind of gummy, candy, fizzy, I don't know. I hope they're sour. Ooh, ooh, oh! Smells like bubblegum, I love bubblegum flavor. Mm. Mm. So good! I taste bubblegum. It's like a jelly candy, which I love. It's not too firm, it's like soft. And it has this sour powder. Oh, this is really good. I will give this a nine. This is very addictive. The next sweet we're going to try, actually it's cookies again, are these croque en Auvergne. They are typical local Auvergne cookies. And these are made à la crème de framboise. Raspberries again. I. I I have nothing to say for myself. I love raspberries. Very, very extremely crunchy cookies. I can't taste any raspberry flavor, be probably because I just had this overwhelming, overwhelming, I'm such a Dutchie, <laughs> bubblegum flavor in my mouth when I try the cookie. Where's the raspberry flavor? Still no raspberry flavor. So I will have to give this one I don't want to give it a five because they are quite decent cookies, but I thought like the raspberry flavor made it very special because otherwise it's just butter cookies. Okay, I'll give it a six. It's fine. I will give it a six. The next sweet I'm going to try are these Luti Magnifique Riche and Beurre et Crème Fresh. That's why I bought them. Le Caramel Croquant à Coeur Train de Fabrique en France. Yes, my French is terrible. Please stay dry. <laughs> No. Oh, it's a very soft candy. Oh, very soft, very firm candy. It's really hard. Yeah. Mm. Oh man, it reminds me of um, boterbubblers in Dutch. It's gonna take me a while. I'm trying to bite it. Yeah. It's really good. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I broke my teeth. No, I didn't. But if I had a little bit more time, because now with the camera I'm rushing a little bit, mm, I would have sucked on it a little bit longer. Wow, that's what she said. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's just out there. A nine. The hard candy with the caramel boto bubbler flavor and the caramel inside. Next up is another cookie. These Chabrior Feuilletés Palmier Rillianap Choco. Anyways, I know the palmiers, the regular ones, but I want to try these with chocolate. And I also, always when I try the palmiers, I don't know, I mean, like my French sucks, I'm sorry. They were, what, what is this individual packaging? France, I don't understand. In Holland we always have like, even when you open the box and you, then you pull it out and you have this tray and then cookies are in it. It's never wrapped like this. Actually, I think this is better because the cookies stay fresh longer. Of course, it's not good for the environment, I understand, but in terms of food quality, I think this is better. Ah, oh, French. You smart people. Ooh, they look freaking delicious. And, I'm sorry. 
No. It tastes like they are over baked. They are not flaky at all, which I really like from the palmiers. And chocolate is really bad. No, this is a no. I would give this a three. I wouldn't recommend this. I'm not even gonna eat the rest of the cookie. It's not good. Some of you guys have asked me in previous videos to buy some savory snacks as well because you like savory snacks more than sweet. But I like honestly, every time I go into a supermarket and I look at the candy, I'm just blinded by all the sweet stuff. And just when I start feeling, I'm like, oh snap, I should have bought some savory stuff. So I'm Freaking sorry, give me some time to adjust to your preferences. Next thing is Karambak, Karambak, oh no. Karambar Mini Mix, Minis Mix. Best of perfumes, mm, perfumes, I don't know. Let's try, let's just try, ooh, let's try the pink one. What is this flavor? Barbara Papa flavor. Barbara Papa flavor, really? Who used to watch Barbara Papa? I did. This is what it looks like. Oh, hard, chewy candy. This flavor is so chemical, I can't even. Yes, this is indeed perfume. I'm gonna try the cola flavor. Because seriously, if you mess that one up, I don't know what you're doing with your life. This one's brown. Mmm, mmm, way better. This one's so much softer. Mmm, caramel flavor. No, no, hard again. Ah. Oh. Why do they make so hard chewy candy? Why? Okay. First time I ever spat out a candy. I can't. I'm gonna give it a four. The last one is savory. So these are Petit Sablé Aperitif au Fromage Cantal. Cantal? Cantal, yes. So this is a typical, Cantal is a typical cheese in the Auvergne region. And these are cheese cookies. These cookies, look at, look at, so tiny, so cute. Mm. Super crumbly texture, quite dry. I cannot remember the taste of the Cantal, but I'm guessing it should be good, right? They are quite dry, these cookies. I would still give it a six because the cheese flavor is really, really good and I like the crumbliness of the, the cookie. I'm gonna give it a seven, it's okay. It's a decent cheese cookie. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, put a thumbs up and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel and would like to travel along, click that subscribe button. We are going to Switzerland next week. And of course, I'm going to buy sweets over there as well. So if you live in Switzerland, please give me some recommendations of what I should buy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.